All right, in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can close gaps between a bunch of audio clips. So there's a few methods of doing this, but basically this can happen if somebody's gone through and they have deleted a bunch of spaces in the audio and it wasn't done in shuffle mode. So later we want to be able to close these gaps. So <clears throat> the two ways, the probably the easiest way would be to come up to... Um, the drop down, well, first of all, if this isn't showing, hit this little arrow down here at the bottom. And then over here, timeline drop order, just go left to right. And then triple click in the um, track to select all tracks. And then if you grab this and drag and drop over here to this tracks list, you can see it puts them all together and if all your clips are named accordingly and if you just deleted things it should keep them all in order just like that for you and you should be good to go but let me show you if this method doesn't work let me show you one other method that you can use um, you can highlight all of um, or create a new track and place it underneath make sure it's also a mono track and make a selection underneath the audio and press Option Command G to create just uh, a grouped area. And then we're going to come up to the Grabber tool. We're going to go to the Object tool. And we're going to highlight all of these. And then this is on a Mac. I'm holding down Option Control as I drag down so that it copies these clips down here. And then I'm going to press Delete. And then I'm going to click in this track again. Go Command A. And then I'm going to hold down control and drag this back up to this track and then switch to shuffle mode and then hit delete and that'll combine them all together for you.